today's gonna be fun because I'm finally answering a question that I get all the time and it's, hey David, can you tell us a moto vlogging setup? To which I always answer, no, cause I don't really moto vlog. See, I've got the, I've got the GoPro mount on the front of my helmet. I've got one on the side and even, even one on top. So oftentimes I will mount a camera to my motorcycle and I'll film a ride, you know, for like a clip here or there, not really for like a full on vlog, especially since I can't talk during that. It would just be, it would just be me riding. <laughs> that would be a little boring. So today I'm gonna figure out how to mount a microphone inside of here, hook it up to my camera so that while I'm riding, I could be talking and potentially moto vlogging. And today's also gonna be kind of a more basic setup. This is gonna be kind of intro to moto vlogging, but later down the road at some point, I'm gonna tinker around with it because I think there's some really cool things you could do as a moto vlogger with the setup on your helmet and some different cameras on your bike. But today we're gonna keep it simple. We're really gonna focus on just being able to pick up good audio and and moto vlogging. If this video helps you guys out in some way or you just enjoyed it, hit the like button. If you wanna see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell because I don't know, YouTube doesn't seem to be putting subscription videos in your feed very often anymore. I don't see my own subscriptions, it's weird. Okay, I think I have everything here for my rig, for my setup, what I'm gonna do today. Oh, I need, <laughs> of course I'm gonna need gaff tape. Okay, so the setup that I'm gonna go with today is just kind of that that POV moto vlogging shot. I'm gonna be using a GoPro Hero 8 Black because of that super view mode. It's the, it's the widest, tallest, mainly tallest angle 4K camera that there is. Although I will for sure be in the future this all works out. I'm gonna test the 1R as a moto vlogging setup because again, it's wider than the GoPro. But with all the workflow stuff that's involved with this, today we're gonna keep it super simple, just use the GoPro. And I'm gonna be mounting all of this to my motorcycle helmet. This is an Arai Vector helmet. It's It's got Ducati badging on it, Ducati graphics, but it's just a plain old Arai Vector helmet, nothing special. The one thing though that is special about this helmet in general is is this large chin spot that actually fits the GoPro curved adhesive mount that just comes in the box with your GoPro. It fits it perfectly. Like it's, it's just the right amount from here to here that that adhesive mount fits great. I know a lot of helmets have, have vent systems going on in that chin area, which if you do have that, you're gonna cover that up in a minute here, which I'll show you because you don't want wind coming through that. If you have a microphone right behind it, you wanna reduce the amount of wind that's hitting your mouth. So this helmet actually works really great because it doesn't have a lot of mouth vent. And that allows me to mount this straight to it. There are other mounting options out there. I've even seen some that, that wrap around this whole thing then your visor wouldn't close all the way and that would be kind of a bummer. Or some people will use a mount that's like way up here and then run an arm so that the GoPro sits out here even though it's mounted way over here. Also an option. But if you do have an Arai Vector helmet, the chin, the chin mount right there with this just GoPro standard adhesive mount, it works great. That's been on there for like six years now. Okay, I already said that I'm gonna go with a GoPro. The thing though that we're gonna need is the, the audio adapter. And because I'm gonna use the audio adapter, I'm gonna try to use this cage. This is by Ulanzi. This is the G85 cage by Ulanzi for GoPro. And the sweet thing about this cage is that it has a spot to house the audio adapter. So it's already in there. You just kind of plug one Allen key or Allen screw through there that holds it in place. That's securely in there. And now I'm ready to rock. The downside of the cage, the negative side is that it's a little heavy. For reference, again, the GoPro by itself is 125 grams. We add in the audio adapter because we're gonna need that either way. We're at 155 grams total. But adding in this cage, we are gonna be adding in 165 grams. So this together weighs 155 grams. This by itself weighs 165 grams. Together we're at like, I don't know, 300 and something grams. So I'm not claiming this to be the lightest weight solution, but 
but all together it will be very tidy. And I, and I do like tidy. And the thing about all of this, the reason that I'm doing this is for the last piece of the puzzle, which is a lav mic. I'm gonna run a lav mic right inside my helmet. I'm gonna just kind of gaff tape it in there. And this is the Power DeWise Lav. There's actually a, a really cheap lav that I just picked up on on Amazon for 40 bucks. It's got good reviews though. Oh, that's a long cable. Oh geez. All right, well that's a heck of a cable. I'm gonna have to hide that in my helmet somewhere. And the one thing to note about this lav mic in particular is that it is a TRRS lav, which means that it can plug into your mobile phone, but they give you a TRRS to TRS adapter, so you need to plug that in for it to work with your GoPro. It comes with it though, so no big deal. Okay, I'm gonna get the GoPro mounted up in the cage. All right, there we go. So the audio adapter is now mounted in that little bottom bit. The hole is open so that the adapter can plug in there. And now I have an audio 3.5 millimeter jack on my GoPro. And we get all this mounted to the helmet. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try one of these adapters first. This is it's the one so that the normal GoPro can just sit vertically if you have it on like a chest mount or something like that. This is a pretty big cage, so I don't know that it's gonna get the right angle because of, because of that bottom piece. It already feels like it's gonna interfere. We'll see. Okay, so the mount I'm gonna put going down into the helmet so it doesn't for some reason pop out the bottom. That's on there nicely. Pop this on there. Get it screwed in place there. Boom, check that out. That is, that's kind of a beast out front. It's not, it's not small in the cage. Because of the cage, it does make this a significantly larger camera on the front of your helmet. Yeah, I can see some of the screen. That's kind of cool. You know how you always either use the app when you're on your motorcycle or you look down at your side view mirror to check whether it's recording or not? I can actually see the screen because it's lifted on this big cage. And uh, I would know whether it was recording just by pushing it down. Then I could just kind of fold it back up. It is a little heavy. I don't know. On a short ride, probably not a big deal. On an all day ride, the extra weight might weigh on you. Huh? So my only concern though with this setup is that is that when I ride, my helmet's kind of in a, a down attitude. It's not it's not flat like this, it's it's kind of down. And I feel like this might be too far down. It might be pointing too far down. I'm gonna get on the bike real quick and we'll just see what it looks like. So here's the question though, is with this tilted all the way up, is that is that the right shot? If I'm, let's get my helmet just right. If I'm riding like this, what uh, what all's in frame? I can, I can just barely see the screen. I think I would need to keep my head kind of tilted up a little bit. And if I uh, relaxed too much and dipped down, you would just be looking at the road. Okay, so I was right. There's a bit of an issue with the cage because it, it really can't angle up like I want it to. I want it to be more vertical so that if my head is down, it can still stay up. Um, dang. Okay, check this out. So the bite mount, I know I talk about this mount all the time, but it has kind of a double hinge design. Like, I wonder if that would give me more clearance than, than this mount. Ouch! <laughs> GoPro mounts are rough. Slap it in there. I think I actually might get more clearance with this than I did with the other mount. Yeah, it's really sticking out there. Oh, that does look pretty good. So check that out. Even in a pretty downward attitude on the helmet, it's still, it's still pretty high. But it has definitely raised it up into my, my line of sight, which doesn't seem like the safest thing on a motorcycle. Oh yeah. Okay, so goods and bads here, <laughs> pros and cons. The GoPro is, it's definitely higher now. I can actually see the entire screen just looking, looking from this position, I can see the entire back of the GoPro screen, which, which the pro of that is that I see exactly what I'm shooting. I'm, I'm literally right behind the camera. Con is that it, it is taking up a good bit of my view right in front. I, I think if I was, well, let's go test this out. Hang on. Look, I can actually see that I'm in the wrong mode. Oh my gosh, this is actually pretty sweet. I can switch modes. Now I know that I'm in the right mode. Hit record, flap it back up. That's actually pretty sweet. Does the helmet close? Helmet closes. Okay, let's see if this view is a better, a better angle. 
think, and then slap it up. Oh, that's a much better angle. See how the, the gauges are just at the bottom of the frame and then everything else kind of opens up up here. Okay, next up we need to get this lav mounted in this helmet. I'm gonna take this off first. If you look right in there, there's, there's already one microphone in there. You kind of can't see it, hard to see. But I already have one microphone in here because I have the Sina, the Sina Bluetooth device next to me so I can have phone calls, I can listen to music, I can do intercom with either Morgan if she's riding on the back or other riders if they have the same intercom system. So there already is one microphone in there, but I'm basically gonna mount this microphone kind of right next to where it's at in there. Just a piece of gaff tape right below the mouth bit of the mic. And I'm gonna leave that little wind noise on there because this thing's gonna be super close to my mouth, like almost touching my lips as I'm talking. So that, it's gonna help a little bit, tiny bit. Before I tuck the wires away, just, just test that position. Oh, I can almost not feel it's even there. Oh yeah, if I lick it, I can tell it's there. <laughs> oh, that's actually a great spot. Okay, good spot. The mic is in place. Now I've got to tuck all of this into, into the helmet. Oh, geez. Oh, that's a good spot. I found a nook. Found a nook behind the, the earpiece, the ear padding, and I'm gonna just shove as much of it in there as I can. All right, so it's all been tucked up in this roll as tight as possible, and then behind the two ear pieces. I just put a bunch behind this one, and then I ran the cable back around to this side, put the rest in there, and now I just have that little dongle bit hanging out. So in theory, let's get this back on there. That's where that's gonna be. Oh. All right, so that is, that is the final setup for today. I'm not a big fan of how this looks. I almost wish I came from underneath somehow. It's okay, this is just a test to see if this whole setup works, if this microphone is good for moto vlogging, and uh, let's, uh, let's go try it out. I'm also super curious to find out how much of the motorcycle noise this picks up or cancels out. The uh, a motorcycle is for sure not a quiet motorcycle, so I'm a little concerned. The motorcycle noise almost might be too much for the microphone, but the microphone is right by my lips. Like again, it's half a tongue away. <laughs> let's, go, let's go test it out. All right. So, so far, I gotta say, the view that I'm seeing, again, it's a very small little view, just the back of the camera, but it looks pretty cool. Like it looks, this looks like a cool view. And if you actually are picking up on my audio really well right now, that, um, that is cool as well. So get this guy rolled out. Give her just a minute to get a little warm. Yeah, that's kind of cool. So I just flipped it up and now all of a sudden it's kind of in, this is exactly my perspective because again, this is exactly behind my face. I'm, I'm looking at the back of the screen. So wherever I look, it looks and again if if, uh, if this audio pickup is good this is already a cool a Ooh, it even sounds better now that my my visor is down all right here we go I've definitely got to say that being able to look down a little bit, being able to see my screen gives me a lot more confidence that I'm actually getting the shot that I want to see. Let's go this way. Oh my gosh, I think it's gonna be a really killer sunset. So I'm really hoping that this whole rig does work and this isn't just a totally failed test and I find out that this is a terrible setup because I think it's gonna be gorgeous. 55 miles an hour, what does the audio sound like? Is it, can you hear me? The bike, again, is, it's super loud in general. So to not have any noise here, we're gonna pull up to a stoplight here. Here is, oh, I do have to kind of look over the GoPro to see my gauges. So right here, there's no wind noise going. How does the microphone sound? I'm uh, just sitting at a stoplight. It looks cool. I'm looking at the back of the screen and it looks like this is a cool option.
coming through this turn here we'll get a little speed and testing the microphone catching speed we are at 55 65 how does the audio sound at 65 gonna slow down for a red light slow down green light so as far as the visibility how much it's actually cutting out of my view it's not terrible but when i look down in my mirrors because i have these side mounted mirrors this one in particular is broken but because i have those side mounted mirrors i kind of have to duck my head a little bit more than normal because this is at the bottom of my frame so i kind of kind of seeing right cutting off right here basically for me to look at um so if i'm looking at my gauges or anything like that i kind of have to look over the gopro to actually see it but i'm gonna say overall this is a pretty cool setup mainly because i can quickly glance at the screen to see is it still recording is my battery dead you know things like that oh that feels good Woo. oh my gosh this is gorgeous so again, quickly glancing down at the screen, I can I can see that, you know, just the handles are in, but really you guys are seeing most of what I'm seeing, which is a really cool vibe. I really like the uh, the Super View on this GoPro. And if you haven't seen my previous video on Super View, it's, it's not actually wider, it's taller. So it's seeing more of the sky and my gauges than a normal 4K would. 16 by nine would kind of chop off up here, but this is actually shooting in four by three and then it squishes it to fit the 16 by nine frame. What's up? That's super cool. <laughs> Kids get a kick out of motorcycles. Oh my gosh, there's no way the GoPro is going to show what I'm seeing right now, but there is like a flock of birds and they're flying right along these palm trees. This is the most gorgeous and epic thing ever. Look at that. Can you see them? I feel like you can't because it's a GoPro. Dang it. All right, we're still not really having much of a chance to get speed so I think when I come up here I'm gonna hop on the freeway shoot south one exit just so I can get to a decent speed we can test out this microphone at speed see if it can still pick up just my voice and cancel most everything else out all right I'm just gonna go south for an exit we'll get up to some good speed there we go There's 80. How does the audio sound? If you didn't notice that crazy cut right there, I had to pull over because I looked down as soon as I was on the freeway and uh, the battery died. And if I wouldn't have had this GoPro mounted where it's at right now, if it would have been lower where I normally mount it when I'm just trying to film something, I would not have known that the GoPro died. I would have had no clue. I would have kept talking to myself. I would have gotten home look down and been like no okay now we're gonna do an audio test going north although i think a cop just got behind me that's not ideal for a speed audio test here we go all right here we are at 85 miles an hour how does the audio sound at 85 miles an hour and yeah this is just how fast traffic is going right now look at this ford explorer which was totally a soccer mom she's going 85. How's a ride? <laughs> All right, in theory, that went great. I obviously haven't looked at the footage. I haven't heard what it sounds like on the microphone, but great ride. I went for way longer than I thought I was going to. Oh, still recording. The experience with this setup though, I have to say, actually really good because again, I could see the screen and that 
that really helped. It didn't, didn't get in the way too much. Even when I was getting on the freeway going south, I was gonna do that speed test, I saw that the battery died. So as soon as I got on the freeway, I went whop, and I saw the screen go boop, and it went black. And I knew that's, that's not right. So I pulled over, I checked it, battery dead. Swapped the battery, back on the road, ready to rock. And without that, yeah, I probably would have ridden and kept talking to the camera for a while before I caught it. And I realized my GoPro died like, tw like 20 minutes ago. Okay, I'm gonna get this out of here. I'm going to get it on the computer so I can hear the audio and then, and then we'll talk about it. Okay, that's super sweet. That totally worked. Holy cow, that actually worked a lot better than I thought it was gonna work. It was picking up a lot of the motorcycle noise. It was also picking up my voice and it was canceling the wind out, which I didn't think was gonna happen. I thought my hypothesis was it would pick up my voice because the mic was so close to my mouth, but then it would cancel everything else out and you would just see the ride and you would hear me talking, but you really wouldn't hear the bike so much. And that's, that's pretty great. Overall, I'm gonna give myself a B minus for the first moto vlogging outing. I'm gonna play with this whole this whole rig. I'm gonna play with moto vlogging. Maybe I'll maybe I'll become a big old moto vlogger. Who knows? And that's it for today. Let me know what you guys thought about this. Let me know if you have any questions about this rig. I'll I'll link all this stuff that I used in the description below. And if you're a moto vlogger and you have a way better setup or you have tips for me. Let me let me know, cause I'm I'm a professional photographer, new to moto vlogging. Again, before I just mounted a GoPro, I never talked to the camera, but with this setup, I can I can blah 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 blah. <laughs> hey, like this video, subscribe, hit the bell, all that stuff. Do the YouTubery, huh?